Here's another clever method how you can create Apple liquid glass here in After Effects. And by the way, so far this has the best magnification effect because it leaves the center part of the circle intact and the rest of the part around the circle is basically magnified and distorted. I also managed to create this refracted liquid glass. I can upload that tutorial on my Patreon page as well. So anyways, let's take a look. Let's create a new composition, read it as final comp, and I gotta go with 1080p, 30 frame per second. Duration is gonna be eight seconds, black background, click OK. I'm gonna drag and drop the background image and right click on the image, go to transform and select fit to comp. Now let's go and right click on the layer with the image, click on pre-compose, read it as background and make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition and click OK. All right, so we're gonna need to duplicate the background layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate and I'm gonna rename this as glass. Now we're gonna to go to the effects and presets, search for CC lens. Let's go and drag and drop the CC lens on the glass layer. And check this out, it's going to create this really cool magnifying glass. And we're gonna go here to the size, you can decrease it. I'm gonna go with 25. And here at the center, you can move it around left or right or up and down. And I'm gonna place it somewhere here. And you also got here the convergence. And here you can customize the magnification of it. I'm gonna go with like 68 and I'm also gonna animate the center, click on the stopwatch. I'm gonna bring it to the left, press the letter U. So this is gonna highlight the keyframes and I'm gonna go at the fourth second and I'm gonna go back to the center and bring it to the right side. Now I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna select the first keyframe, press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. Let's select all the keyframes, right click on the keyframe, go to keyframe assist and select easy ease. I gotta bring the last keyframe all the way out. And now we got a looping animation going on. Now let's go and select the layer with the glass. And let's go to layer, layer styles. And let's go and select the bevel and emboss. Open up the bevel and emboss. I'm gonna go to the size, increase it to 12. And I'm gonna go to the shadow color and change it to white. Click OK. And I'm gonna change up the blend mode of the shadow mode. And I'm gonna select screen. Now let's go back to layer, layer style, and I'm gonna select the color overlay, open up the color overlay, and I'm gonna change up the color to white, click OK, and I'm gonna decrease the opacity to 10. Let's go back to layer, layer styles, and select inner shadow, open up the inner shadow, and here we're gonna add some more glow. Let's go to the color, and I'm gonna change it to white, Let's go to the opacity. I'm going to go with 48. Angle is going to be 82. The distance is going to be 80. Size 110. And not but least, we're going to need to change up the blend mode. And I'm going to select the color dodge. All right, so it starts to come alive. And not but least, we're going to need to add one more layer style. So let's go to the layer, layer styles. And I'm going to go and select the drop shadow. Let's open up the drop shadow. I'm going to decrease the opacity to 50, angle is going to be 82, distance 56, and then the size is going to be 52. So let's see what we got. I'm going to bring it back, hit play. So the only disadvantage here that you only can make this in a sphere. So you don't have any other shape options, unfortunately. You can't create any rounded buttons or rectangular shapes. And this is it. Thanks for watching.